yes 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 what's up guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make beats for ashake so i saw a comment on one of my videos i dropped that somebody said i should make an ashake type beat and i was like you know let me let me even dive into ashake type beats i've been running away from ama piano beats not because i can't make ama piano beats but just because i've not studied it well enough to be so comfortable making ama piano beats but i was like let me pick one of my favorite ashake songs to kind of delve into so i picked this song terminator i love this song so much and crazily enough right crazy crazy enough they use very 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 simple chords i've mentioned this site a lot in my previous videos codify.net if you don't know the chords of a song or if you're stuck trying to figure out the chords of a song just pull up the site and search for the song if the song is on youtube you're gonna see it on here so i checked up this song and um the chords are just three chords and three simple chords a minor g major and f major then back to g major that was like the simplest code you can think of six five four chord progression so i think the key is g but i don't know it's probably c major but for for them to use just these three chords you can also use c major for it so the chords go like this let's start with the chords first because chords are always the first things for me when i'm making my beats so it goes like this Like very simple, right? Very simple. <laughs> so, um, the thing with Ashake type beats, right? Or the thing with Ama piano, you know, this Ama piano is not necessarily the original Ama piano sound that some people might consider that is Ama piano. You know, when Ama piano broke out in Nigeria, or when it came out in Nigeria, a lot of people were trying to fuse their own styles to it with Rexy, uh, Magic Sticks. Everybody was adding their own style to it. Even Saz, everybody was adding their own style, their own Afro beat style, and fusing with Ama piano. You know, they have the log drums to kill everything, and then the the Afro beat drums. Or still, they still use some Ama piano drums, but it depends on the style you're going for. So I'm probably going to make more Ama piano videos. This is just going to be my second Ama piano video. I've made an Ama piano video before, probably last year or so. But I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to watch that one. So that one is fire. But like I said. Um, ashake type beats you always want to use very soulful chords um soft simple chord that's what they use for this beat funny enough but you always want to use soulful chords you know you want to pick an e piano i picked this e piano from lounge lizard it sounds like this so basically i'm adding some notes here and there just to make it more soulful so even if you have a chord progression the block chords you don't only want to play the block chords you want to add more spice here and there you might tweak the melody if you know how to play the piano maybe find something nice if you don't know how to play the piano you probably want to click in a lot and find something that is nice mess with the velocities you know that was what i was trying to do here and then you can add more notes here yeah, just make it more soulful. Then with the drums, next thing with the drums, um, uh, even for, even for the other uh, drums, there's this um, one sound that you always hear. Some people can use a lead, some people can use a synth, some people can use, um, a brass or a wood wind instrument so i'm just playing a, a wood wind instrument from purity it sounds like this so usually when you pick the scale that you're playing in you just play the the sixth note if you're playing a major scale you play the sixth note if you're playing a minor scale you play the first note so i'm playing a minor so i'm playing the first a Oh, I'm playing C major, I'm playing the sixth note. You know, A minor is the same thing as C major, guys. Don't mix it up. So, you add that, then the drums. Alright, so I started with this. Start off with this African kind of bounce. You know, something like that. So, basically, you want to do a lot of layering, like, that's where the drums are gonna kill everything. You want to layer a lot of drums, you know. Don't just make sure the drums are not all over in the place. You know, try and make sure they kind of complement each other. That's the source. So you might want to spend more time focusing on the drums than 
anything else first. That's all I have for this first drum pattern. Then I have this simple kick going. It's a four step kick. It might get more complicated, but st stick with the four step kick first. Then added more percussion. So all the drums together so far. So you, like I said, you might want to layer the drums some more. I added this um, more like a snare rim shot layer, just to give everything more body. Then these shakers, there are a lot of shakers that you can get. This is my piano shakers. Then the whole thing with the drums. Yeah, I did some more shakers again. I did a shaker. So now, if you add all the melodies that we've played so far, So, I, I, as you guys can hear, one more thing that also makes Amapia no bit so, 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 so fire and so nice is adding risers, drum rolls, sound effects. Some people always ask that why is my beat so empty? It's because you've not added a lot of effects. Add effects too sometimes. It's not every time you want to play all the chords in the world or add all the instruments. If everything is um, sounding kind of almost done and something is missing, it's transition that is missing. So, add some transitions. Like, if you guys can hear without the transition, how the beat sounded empty. Now, if I add this riser transition, just hear how this beat elevates. Play from here. So you can hear how the beat just goes from it being so boring to, you know, having this hyped energy. Like I said, add effects, risers, crashes, I'm up piano drum rolls. I'm working on an I'm up piano drum kit very soon, so you guys should relax. A lot of stuff are coming for for you guys very soon. Then I added some more African percussion, this percussion sound. And so you want to like add a lot of Afro beats, drum redeems with I'm up piano drum. Like you have to mix it up. You just have to find your own creative bounce to it. Don't overdo it. At the same time, be intentional with the sounds you're adding. You don't just add sounds because you want to add sounds. Can try and find a bounce. You know they should complement each other. Like I said, they should complement each other. So all the drums again. So this this um is like a clavier sound. It's just going pam 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 titim pam pam pam. You know, so and I layered it with one more snap pattern like this. Then I added this guitar sound, like the original song. You guys have heard this song before, so. So sometimes too, it might, it might not sound as good as you want it to sound. So you can always try and use real life guitars. If you not to play guitar, if you can find a guitar loop, if you can use something like Arcade that has some guitar samples in there, or Looperman, just find a nice 
um, guitar solo. I don't want to make this tutorial so long. That's why I, I try and made the beat first before I made this video, you know, so. Then the last thing is adding the log drum. So with the log drums, I'm probably gonna have to make a part two. I can't make this video in one video. I'm probably gonna make a part two for this video or show you guys more tips on how making log drums. So I just added this log drum bounce, sounds like this. To the solo, the log drum, I sound kind of plain. So I know one trick some people like to do, I don't want to call it a trick, but I want to say what some people think I'm up on a log drum is, is by adding a lot of crazy drum rolls here and there, crazy log drum rolls here and there, but that's not always the case. Sometimes you want to be kind of intentional with the log drums. The log drums actually kind of complement the whole song, you know, find the empty pockets and use the log drums to fill that, those parts. That's what the log drums should do. Don't just think, oh, I want to add log drums, so I'm adding rolls here, there, and here and there. You know, the log drums should kind of have like a sense in the beat. Add more elements to the beats, you know, like this popular um, tremolo signal sound. So you're still gonna be on the the sixth note of the scale. So remember, if you're on the major scale, just put put it on the sixth note. If you're on minor scale, put it on the first note. Then I'm gonna do do a part so then you can add more <laughs> more strings, um you know violins, that's one thing that kills the 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 beat that makes it so fire. So watch out for part two guys. 